Welcome back to 2C. Uh, we did the bed. We got all of that stuff. We need a silverwood sapling and a great wood sapling. Alright, so we need to go out during our daytime and find those things. I don't see... I don't remember seeing any silverwood here. On this island. Doesn't mean there isn't any. Just means that I wasn't paying attention enough to see it. Uh, while we're out, anytime we come across Silverwood's that pretty blue one. But I don't remember seeing it. But then again, we didn't go all over this either, did we? We gotta watch out for quicksand. More sheep. This island may not provide what we need. Although I'm fairly certain that we found it on... an island like this before, so... Actually, this is a very good-sized island, isn't it? We hadn't spent much time exploring it, so... Mainly because, you know, early game survival in this pack is not easy so one of the things we should do is methodically figure out what's on this island and what biomes are on this island I think it's just uh, it might be catching up with me because I, I stop and restart the stream so that might be why it's lagging We don't want to go too far from home. I mean, we can go, you know, however far we want to, right? But we don't want to be so far. That we can't get back before dark. And we're looking for a great wood tree, which, you know, you'll tell when that is because it's this huge honking tree. Is that a village? I think we may have found a village. If not a village, then at least a uh, place to look at, right? See what's there. It might be something different. I think that's a great wood tree right there. I could be wrong. We took the time to mark where home was, so as a minimum we know where home is. And if we get in trouble, we can teleport back.
stock garden, grass garden, I think that is a great wood tree, but I'm not positive. Yep. Alright, so we're going to tear down that great wood tree in a minute. some bread and another spruce sapling in this house okay so this is not a village it's just a house out by itself all right but there's formations over here yeah, there's a village. That hurt. I need one more. So there is a village over here. We found our first village. We'll have to mark it. Alright, we can make another bed to go traveling with. It will be different than our... It won't be that much different because a bed's a bed in this version, right? Alright, so we need to take down the great wood tree. Nope, it's 457. We will die if we go to take down that great wood tree now. So we're going to go to the village. And hang out in the village overnight. Wow. Okay. Did I not? Did I? Was there? Okay, hold on. Did I miss a? I did. Hey, it's nighttime. You guys need to go to bed or something. Oh, that's right. In this version, no beds. Does this house have a... It does have a door, but it's kind of up there. Alright, so... Grab, 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 grab. 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 Alright, I am sorry guys, but this is as light as it gets. In this house at least. Let's go to this house that seems to have some light in it. Um, bread we can put into the lineup. Alright, so we need one silver wood, one great wood sapling. 
seen a lot of trees, but there are a few that look really special. Yeah, I haven't seen those. Yeah, it is dark. And that's one of the things. Uh, hardcore darkness in this game is a thing, and it is really, really hard. Garden or cherrywood grove? That's the last thing we need to do for this line. Uh, more melon, I guess. We need to make some coffee. We need a tea leaf and grape to make a cup of tea and raisins. For that we get butter, which I had never used in our other game. We need to do, we need to find the berries still. Ah, stuff's blowing up around us. Um. Tips and trick. More like too many items. Some tips for NEI. When you have your inventory open, you can type the search terms in the text bar. Make sure your GUI size is set correctly or you won't be able to see it. Double click the bar to highlight any matching items in your inventory. Handy for searching obsidian chest. Even better, you can have T to search nearby inventories which will emit particles. So we get uh, the explorer for this. And then for this one, NEI has some really nice advanced features too. Click on an item to see the recipe to create it and press backspace to go to the previous recipe. Hold shift to stop the or, or dictionary toggling items and to show the or dictionary entries for the current item under your cursor. Search using or dictionary to find items that match that or dictionary. For example, dye white will list all white dyes. Oh, that's cool. Search using at mod, which I've done that before. Asterisk is a wild card. And it has other more advanced features. That's cool. Nobody wants an explosion, right? So when building multi-blocks, make sure you, one, don't cross chunk boundaries with the multi-block. Two, don't rely on resources coming from outside the chunk to prevent explosions. In other words, make sure you source your water locally, okay? Also, if you don't haven't discovered it yet, electric machines don't like getting rain or snow on them. They'll start fires, and those fires have a chance of causing an explosion. Stay safe. Why does this sound like we've got all kinds of mobs outside? Probably because we have all kinds of mobs outside. Don't be inviting people in, dude. Look at these guys. Yep, yep, yep. It gets really dark. Lots of this room. Alright, so not there. I would think it needs to be on this one. Nope. We just need more of them. Alright. Um, gotta wait till daylight anyway, so. Which kind of sucks. It is dark on this world. Hardcore darkness kind of sucks.
Thankfully, those guys can't see me through the window. Alright, so Stone Age. One sand. I get a lunchbox. And a food journal. Or a lunch bag. Which we can open and put some food in. And it will... Cycle through the food. When we actually get the lunch box, I'm going to be happier. Uh, we need... This is where we start needing to get a bunch of stuff, right? More food, more hearts. So food is great, right? But what's even greater is eating tons of it. Too boring and pointless, you say? Well, what if I told you you can get extra hearts just by expanding your palate? You get one point for each half shank of hunger from a food eaten. And after 50 points, you get one extra heart. Now you have a reason for making all those Pam's foods. Of course, each food only contributes its shank value once, no cheating. If you want to see what foods you've eaten, you can use the not handy food journal. Realistically though, you'll want to use NEI to both see foods eaten and not eaten. You can search for not yet eaten to see foods left and assisted to see foods eaten. You need to have started diminishing returns first to see this. If it doesn't work for you, try following first go First go to the any options in the bottom left where the inventory is open, then click on inventory and change search. It is a lot of text, but it's very good information if you're paying attention to what it's telling you. So um, unfortunately there are times when I wasn't pay paying attention and it kind of screwed me the first time so um, we still have these to do that's what text we're on it's 455 we're waiting for these zombies use my wooden spear all right getting to be daylight More zombies around the back side of that building. Don't step in the tar. Pressure plates. You want a pressure plate early game? Steal it from the villagers. If you don't care about the villages dying, steal everything. Why don't I make the village my base? I, you know, that's a good question. Why don't, hey, no, no, no. Don't. Zombie, no. And a spider. Okay. Great.
I don't think there was much in these. Ah, a leather cap and some leather boots. Oh, we lost our... That can go there, then. Yeah. Alright, so let's go... Crap. How am I going to take down that great tree now with just my hand? I guess I could. See those books? We're going to want those. And we're going to want to take some of this with us. I missed where the door was. Alright, great wood. Let's go kill, or let's go take down the great wood tree. We're going to have to do it with our hand, though. Where is home? Home is that way. Because that's the way the great wood tree is. Got all discombobulated and turned around. All of these sheep. Get those stock gardens. Get these gourd gardens. Take down the great wood tree. Fortunately, we're back to doing it by hand. All right. Have a good day, man. I hope you have. I hope you have a good night. I hope you sleep well. If you're going to sleep. If you're not, you know, I hope you have a good night. Alright, so take down the great wood tree, get great wood sapling. How many... I've got the number of wood we need already, so it's just a matter of the sapling at this, at this point. I should get that whole branch out. Good. Man, I don't think we're going to finish this during daylight.
whole tree kind of just shift? Looks like it does. Looks like there's a lot more branch out there. So we may have to go back out there to get some stuff. In Greatwood Tree, we may end up with, you know, a stack of lumber. Not necessarily a bad thing. Look at there's some more aluminum gra gravel. Man. I don't know if you guys remember, but last season we spent a lot of time looking for aluminum gravel. getting dark. We didn't mark the village. We have to go out on that branch. I wish there was a way I could light this up. Oh, let's see. Is there anything in here that we can use to get more torches? That's the end of uh, episode.